Salam alaikum. Good morning, Mr. Munir. Alaikum salam and good morning to you as well. How is it, go how is it going? It's going great, man. Just a late start for me today. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to mentally get caught up. Um, what about you? Well, early start for me today. Um, really early. So already caught up. Engines running. Yesterday I had a slight headache with that first day of fast. Today is I I feel so good, man. Alhamdulillah. I feel I feel so refreshed. I told you just before this meeting, like uh, like uh, like uh, when when you uh, when you take the candy from the uh, from that mm -hmm. paper. That's how I feel. Like so nice. refreshed. Yeah, that's good, man. I'm I'm happy to hear. Um, the first day, it's weird fasting because while fasting, you just give up the temptation. You block away the temptation for food, and then the moment it's time to break your fast, you know, it's like right away the temptation to eat becomes so much more unbearable. And it's this, it's the littlest thing, you know, like you break your fast, you eat whatever, and that same thing that 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 kept you fasting for 12, 14, 16 hours or whatever it may have been, is now just completely gone. And you you right. go into this like animal mode of of uh right. consume as much food. Right, right. That yeah, that's fun. That's fun. But you know, as we know, the the major point of fasting is not to be hungry and for right. us is way more important to control feelings to control anger to control bad words or anything that we are trying to control even without fasting but here with fasting it's mandatory pretty much for your day to be a uh, fully blessed by the the the, the uh the ramadan and the the, the point behind it then hunger is 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 not really major concern, I guess. Right, right. Um, you know what I want to ask you about today, man. I was thinking about this uh, the other day. Um, here in the U.S., we always hear about how X amount of years ago, you know, people used to be able to live off of a single salary and things like that, and they used to be able to buy a house and they had a car and and they had everything else, and. On top of inflation, which has gone up, you know, um, we are earning more as well. So I'm I'm trying to to process, and this is kind of a becoming a worldwide phenomena. How households have to turn into uh, two income households in order to to uh, to to stay afloat. Um, on top of inflation, I was thinking about the other things that that were we have access to purchase that we didn't back then and almost other necessities, you know, uh, just the smallest example is like a cell phone, um, whatever, like 25 years ago, it wasn't a thing or whatever, even 20 years ago or 15, maybe. Well, no, it, it was a thing 15 years ago, but whatever amount of time ago, right? Like cell phones were not a thing at all. Like they just didn't exist. So there goes, whatever a thousand dollars for the for the purchase of the phone uh and then with it you know uh 200 300 dollars a month for the service and then the accessories and then you 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 look at uh everything else you know like computers were not a thing uh little gaming devices they were but it was such a smaller scale than it is today so it's like we can't keep up with with the amount of things we're rolling out to spend our money on. Sure thing, yeah, that's that's the thing. I think that the whole society was more minimalistic, quote unquote, before than it was than it is today. Uh, right, and that's uh, a bit of a reason why why households are unable to uh, cope with so many expenses, and in you need two or or three salaries in in order to uh, go through the month. You know, way before it was you have a mortgage in your house and and then you buy one car and it's pretty much it i mean you other utilities right. you, know, you buy that one are... car that's the other thing like most families now have multiple cars 
That's that's correct. And yeah. you have one car, and that car is like a family car that you you keep for fifteen years, or, and, or you know. And you have other gadgets. You you have a you have a iPad. You have a, mm -hmm. whatever MacBook and everything, and that's a couple of thousand dollars everything. And then of course every year there is a brand new one. So you uh, you just upgrade yourself, and that's that. That's that ultimate form of capitalism, and uh, that's con consumerism. Actually, uh, cons yeah. Consumerism, and uh, that that might be uh, that might be really a reason for the craze. Um, and um, but yeah, even in Bosnia, in Bosnia right now, it used to be normal for a household to be one um, salary, and then that's enough. But now it's getting more and more. Um, um, necessary for for let's say both husband and wife to be working whereas only five years ago i would say only five years ago, no, not that far, only five years ago one salary would be enough yeah and people always reason... pin it on inflation man but i i don't think i i don't know the economics behind it but i think inflation is a much smaller factor than when you look at the amount of almost necessary things that we buy nowadays you know not not to even get into the whole like consumer habits of just keep upgrading over and over you know but just things like a cell phone a cell phone plan an internet an internet plan you know and then you get into the the conveniences of having multiple TVs in the house, of having an, multiple iPads, you know, of, of getting things for kids, for, you know, games. And, and the, because you're you look at, like, people back in the day, man, like, they were making, in like, a hundred years ago, salaries were, were like, a, a few dollars or something, you know, it, like like an hour. It, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. Um, you, you read books sometimes, and it makes mentions of, of you know, people. It was literally insane. Um, so the salaries have gone up, the cost of things has gone up as well, but then the amount of things that we have access to. Right. And then you're forgetting a lot, a lot, a lot of subscri subscriptions that we have nowadays. There's like 10 different subscriptions. Every subscription is 10 to $20 every month. And then there you go. It's you subscribe crazy. to Netflix, to Sky Showtime, to HBO, to sports, whatever. Man, it's taking our money, right? Yeah. In the broad it's daylight. Crazy. I wonder if there but are hey, people. Hey, no one forced us right. to buy Netflix. No one forces us to buy HBO. No one forces us to buy Sky Sports or whatever. It's right. our own decision, man. And I was going to say, I wonder if there are people that, that have been able to successfully fight the urge. It's it, it's hard to fight it when you you know when you're like well it's only ten dollars you know, but when you add those up and then sometimes it's not ten you know sometimes it's it's way more than ten. Um. Okay. Let's get into yesterday. Break it down. Yesterday was a day of forty five loads, with our uh, bid ratio nine point seventy seven percent. That means that. Out of a hundred bids, we were getting uh ten loads pretty much. So ten bids, one load. Um, forty-two drivers were uh, active, uh, effectively booked, and um, I would say there was similar day to last week with seven thousand two hundred loads available in the system, of which one thousand two hundred and seventy were actually imported or we will available for so only out of seven thousand loads our drivers have been available or legible or their system preferences were, were uh for 1200 loads so that's what not even 20 percent of the loads posted all over yeah or available yeah, another so, uh st statistic that i'm looking at right now that i thought was interesting was we had 481 bids and we had our drivers declined 358 other opportunities, right? So 481 were bid and 
our drivers declined 358 on top opportunities on top of that. You know, people are talking about not making enough money. That's one way to, to, to change that, man. Um, when times get tough, our standards have to drop. I hate to say it, you know, but it's just, it, it is what it is, man. You either sit and wait and, you know, you're not happy with your earnings at the end of the week or you take some risks and you book some loads that you otherwise maybe wouldn't have been crazy about. Um, but with fewer loads available, you know, when we begin to uh, decline a a healthy percent of them, let me do the math on this and I'll tell you what percent of all available loads that we had were declined. So 358. Yeah, so 28% of available loads are drivers declined. This is not even our dispatch. This is the drivers that had yellow areas and uh, or or red and they they declined those available shipments. So almost every third load. Every third load, almost, almost every third load or every fourth. Uh, I mean, either one, it's it's a high number, you know. And if you if you look at the math, right, we win about ten percent of the bids that we do place. So mathematically, and I mean, it's not how it works because a driver can only be booked on one load at a time. But mathematically, when we decline 358 loads and our win ratio is typically about 10%, right? mathematically, we're talking about, about 35 loads that we could have booked perhaps. And again, this is oversimplification because those drivers got booked on other loads in some cases. But in other cases, they didn't, right? Because we did have drivers that either finished the load first half of the day and then they didn't get booked in the second half or, or you know, some weird things happen. Um, I am 100% sure if we did not decline as many as we did, um, that instead of booking whatever it was, uh, 40, Five. what was it? 45 Four. loads we would have maybe booked 51 or two, right? So there would have been a few more there. Yeah, yesterday for us, um, Quebec was tough. We have two yeah. drivers wait, waiting for a longer period of time up there, both in Montreal. Usually Quebec is good for us. Just looking at the statistics, uh, I don't know, we get 20% of whatever we place a bid on. And that's higher than the average um, in the US. But yesterday is just uh, not a lot of... Um, going out of there so that that those guys are our priority right now to get them uh, out of uh, they are our longest uh, waiting drivers in, in up there in Quebec so if they're listening to this you you we are taking care of these guys hopefully we'll, we'll book you as soon as possible and you know uh, what I mean Quebec has always been weird like mm. one week we'll get everyone out for a really good price and it's perfect because they get a good price to go there and they get a, a good price coming out and the next week, like they get stuck for 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 a couple of days, um, we we have to dig deeper into that and see if there's 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 things we can figure out. Um, you know what I'd love to do if the drivers that do watch this, and then we've had a few people reach out and 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 really show appreciation for us making these. Um, comment in the comments here. Um, what you want us to present data wise, or you know if there's anything else um that 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 you guys want us to focus on um one thing i am going to have our developers make is some sort of a number of for how many drivers we we did not book right so we can we can see okay today you know these this many drivers were available for this part of the day and they did not get booked um i think that that, that would be interesting for people to see as well maybe yeah um operationally any unique situations happened yesterday uh yeah we had one um that we don't like to see but it happens so drivers out there who are new to us or new to the industry um know that that something like this can happen we had a driver came to the pickup saturday morning he was on site for so two two days 
school days and yesterday monday around noon it was canceled wow so the driver came in and it was the top customer that we were the number one customers it's not like we're talking with people that don't know what's going on behind the scenes or aren't sure if the load is there or yeah. something like that so we had to wait and we waited for two full days plus six hours wow and he the load was canceled in the end and there's no tonu big enough even you know for, for that kind of situation. right yeah and it can happen it can happen how much was the tonu uh i don't know i can check what, that what did but the driver get the driver should get um standard tone of hundred dollars plus hundred fifty uh two hundred dollars for every every day of layover so that's two days that should be like 550. i can check later you know how much customer paid but i think that the bhx will have to pay more to our driver because you know just how the how, how we're able to collect these longer longer tonus yeah because we have to count the tension there because the driver lost 48 plus hours and there's not no tonu big enough he could have done two loads in that period of time and well the maybe good, the only good at thing least it was he, weekend yeah at least it was weekend he was in eagle pass texas and the only good thing about it he was booked one hour after the load was canceled out of eagle pass up north so that's was the, it canceled the, early i know it was canceled around 12 um uh, yeah. 12 or 1 p.m yeah i mean uh if he gets 500 bucks or she gets 500 bucks for that it's not the worst way to spend a weekend sitting doing nothing driving not nothing wasting no fuel right. and uh you know still earning 550 bucks i mean it, it it sucks of course anytime there's a cancellation and, and and things like that happen man but sometimes it's important for us to put things into perspective there's people out there that work factory jobs whole week to make 550 bucks. And, you know, you had our guy. It sucks that he's sitting around and uh, obviously, but considering it is the weekend, considering he is in one of the worst areas being Texas to make 500 bucks while doing nothing. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. It can be worse. It can be worse in the middle of business uh, days. When that happens is I think is way worse than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool, man. Any other uh, anything else? Any words of wisdom from you? Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Thank you guys for, because of course, a word came to, me, came to me that you guys, some of you guys, are following what we're talking about here. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Smash. Smash the subscribe button. Uh, and the wisdom will come eventually once like we grow. And share. Like I like can share once we grow a uh, gray beard and start wearing hats, staff or something like that. Canes. Canes. Cool. Right. Okay. Thank Welcome you, sir. Stay safe, everybody.